everyone is Wilson here today let's talk about how to factor this expression okay so you, you can see that both the x and y have a six power and then you may say how do we do this well first we are going to um, rewrite it okay as the difference of two squares and actually later on you will realize that we also need to use the sum and the difference of two cubes formulas to continue to factor but at the beginning we are going to use the uh, the difference of two squares formula to factor this and then so now let's just quickly recall okay so let's just recall that if we have uh, a square minus b square then what happens is that we are going to get a plus b and then we have a minus b when we factor the difference of two squares. And so what we are doing right now is to figure the a and the b. And in this case, it's actually quite easy because something square is to the sixth power. So that's x to the third power, as you can see here. What about the other one? The other one will be y to the third power because y cubed square, the three times the two will give us the sixth power. So we actually figure out the a, which is x cubed. And then the other one is the b, which is y cubed. Okay, and so when we factor that, then it will just be a plus b, a minus b. So we factor it as x cubed plus y cubed, and then times x cubed minus y cubed. And then that's it, okay? As you can see here, a plus b, a minus b. And you may say, can we just stop right here? Well, to completely factor this expression, we actually need to keep going because we realize that this first factor right here x cubed plus y cubed is the sum of two cubes and the other expression the other factor is x cubed minus y cubed so that's the difference of two cubes so what happens is that we continue to factor them and so to factor the first one well actually let's just do it on the side so if we just look at the x cubed plus y cubed right here we can actually just write it as the while well, using the the sum of two cubes formula and don't forget that there is the the sign that we can actually just write down to remind ourselves is what it's the same sign same as means plus and plus right same sign and then opposite so minus always positive and so what happens next is that we are going to have the um, x cube so we just put x right here okay because our a is actually just the x and then what about the b the b is the y so we get x plus y and then we have what we have x and then x here and then we have the y here and y here don't forget don't forget is that there would be square at those two spots right here the first turn and the last turn of the trinomial so we have the x cubed plus y cubed factor in this form now you may say what about the x cubed minus y cubed that's almost the same thing as you can see. So following the signs right here, following the soap, as you can see, if you don't know what it means by the soap, you can actually watch my uh, the other video about factoring the sum and the difference of two cubes. So there was, a pl uh, there was a same sign, same sign means that whatever sign that you have here, we have the minus. Opposite means that it's the opposite of this one, so plus, always positive, so just always positive right here. Okay, and then the rest is really just the same thing as how we fill that in. So we just have x here, x here, x here, and then y here, y here, y here. And then don't forget square and square for the last first and the last turns for the trinomial. Okay, and so once we have those two expressions, we can really just put them together because we already factor all the x cubed plus y cubed and then also the x cubed minus y cubed. So the final answer would just be x plus y and then we get x squared minus xy plus y squared. And then the other one, the other one is x minus y. I'm just copying from here. So we get x squared plus xy and then plus y squared. And then we are finished. And then you may say, can we rearrange those factors? Does the order matter? The order actually doesn't matter. So you can also rearrange it. And then you, if you want to put the, all the binomials first, so you can put them this way. And as you can see, so it doesn't really matter. It's still it's the same thing, okay? So that's it. As you can see for this example, it's not that difficult even though the powers are high powers, okay? So uh, thank you for watching. Please share this video to others and also subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time.